For years now, we've heard that relief in the property insurance market was just months away. Six months, 12 months, 18 months. Well, we're past all of those deadlines now, so when will it get here? The man tapped to oversee Florida's insurance market tells our Capitol reporter for Saunders tonight there are good signs it's finally happening. For months now, Floridians from coast. When my house payments started at 1100 then they went up to 1500 and 1600 from 1600 it jumped to 3000 to coast we are unable to offer you a renewal policy due to a reduction in our hurricane exposure have told us their frustrations on property insurance and what they see is a lack of response from lawmakers at the capitol they got no answers they're politicians that's all they are well, after years of grant programs and reform, making the state-backed insurer of last resort citizens less competitive and restricting insurance lawsuits to ease prices, <laughs> state officials said this week it's working. Citizen surplus is stronger, the state's private companies are netting profits, and eight new property and casualty insurers have entered Florida's market. We're seeing data that indicates it is having an impact, and so we want to see what that looks like before we, we change things completely. That's Insurance Commissioner Michael Jaworski, who reaffirmed the good news Thursday. But the big question for Floridians remains. Where's my relief? That is the question. We've seen the average homeowner's uh, insurance rates go from, um, they go up about 60% over the past past three years. We're seeing it at about 30, an average of $3,400 a year. And I think we'll see hopefully some leveling off of that first before we see any reductions, but, but there are indicators that are looking promising. It comes a month after the 2024 legislative session, which Democrats and the super minority criticize for not enacting more reform or offering taxpayers direct relief. I don't know what it will take. It really seems to me like the Republicans are turning a blind eye and a deaf ear to Floridians who are in crisis right now. For its part, the GOP has said it's trying to make the market more competitive and let capitalism do its thing to drive down prices. The House Speaker telling us this recently. All the things you would hope to see as an initial step towards an improvement are happening, but the last part of that is the rates, unfortunately, and I just can't flip a switch. But it's becoming a deeper and deeper frustration for Floridians. New polling from Progress Florida shows more than 60 percent disapprove of the governor's handling of the insurance crisis. And the hits may keep coming if relief doesn't arrive in the near future. Everything is, is generally showing that we're sort of uh, hopefully moving out of the emergency room and into the recovery. Now, the legislature did do some things to address the affordability crisis here in Florida, like passing another big tax relief package, as well as funding again that home hardening grant program and expanding it in a pilot program to condos. But all of that is still contingent on the governor's signature. That's the latest out here at the state capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.